Today, we'll make an epic animation with music, sound design, and an AI voiceover. Hey, Houston. We might have a small problem. Let's get straight into it. Open Canva and create a new design. I am using an Instagram Reels crop, but you can follow along in whatever dimension suits your project. First, let's add the background video. Open the video's library and search for Earth from Space. Select this one, then place it on the edge of the canvas so it snaps into the background position. Next, let's add a subtle opening animation by clicking on the video, opening the animations panel, and selecting the photo rise animation, making sure on enter is selected. Now select the page at the bottom and change the background color to jet black to remove the faded white color as the animation activates. Next, let's add our astronaut, open the photos library and search for astronaut suit cutout Select this one and resize it, making sure to keep it centered on the canvas. To give him movement, open the animations panel and under the motion effects section. Give him a rotation effect at the slowest speed and change the direction to anti-clockwise. And let's also give him a custom animation by selecting this tool and slowly drawing a figure of eight shape. Then change the speed setting to the slowest and set the movement style to smooth to avoid any jerky movements. Now let's add the title, open the text section and select add a heading, type feeling into the bounding box and change the color to white. Then update the font to something chunky like the zoom rough bold font. Reposition the title to the top like so then open the position tab and in the layer section, move the title behind the astronaut layer. Open the animation panel and give it the succession animation, making sure the speed is set to the lowest. Hold Alt on your keyboard and drag a duplicate of the title to the bottom and change the wording to lost. Trim the duration of the page to seven seconds and let's preview the scene. Nice. Open a new page, change the background color to white, and place a circle shape on the center of the canvas. Resize and change the color to one of your liking. Time to add the product image. I'm using a GPS device, but you can use a variety of products for this type of advertisement. Open the Photos section and search for GPS device. Select this one. Then open the Edit Image panel and select the Background Remover tool. Now open the Elements tab and search for a drop shadow. Select this one. Place it beneath the GPS device. And in the Layers panel, move it behind the product layer. Copy the title layer from page one and paste it onto the second page. Change the color and update the wording to your brand name. Make a duplicate and add more text to the bottom of the canvas. Open the Elements tab and search for Astronaut Character Standing. Select this one, then place it on top of the Spaceman title. Open the Animation panel and give it a Tumble animation. Then select all of the middle layers and give them a Pop animation. Select both text layers, and in the Animation panel, select Clear Animations. Duplicate the page, and in the Animation panel, select Remove All Animations. Delete the product and drop shadow layers, then add a text layer, type out your tagline, and change the font to the True Typewriter font. Resize and center, then give it a typewriter animation. Add a new page,
change the background color to black, then open the photo section and search for the astronaut. Select this one, then open the edit image panel and select the magic grab tool. Select the astronaut figure and click on grab. As you can see, this tool separates the elements of an image into separate layers, allowing us to resize and animate to our liking. First, let's add a copy of the GPS image to the canvas, flip it horizontally, then reposition it so it looks like the astronaut is holding it. Hold shift on your keyboard and select both layers, then group them together like so. Move the group to the bottom corner of the scene, then give it a custom animation by slowly drawing a path towards the planet layer. Create a new text layer and add a call to action in the top half of the page, giving it a baseline animation. Now let's head over to Eleven Labs to create a voice for our astronaut. Open the Speech Synthesis tool and type your script into the text box. Next, select your voice. I have found Chris to be the most suitable as an astronaut voice. So there I am, right? Just minding my own business. When you're ready, click on Generate Voice. Hey, Houston, we might have a small problem. You may need to repeat the generation process until you get the desired results. Here's one I made earlier. Hey, Houston, we might have a small problem. It sounds good, but we still need to give it that astronaut effect. For this, I'm going to use a free tool called Audacity. I'll leave a link to this in the description. With Audacity open, go to File, Import, and select the Eleven Labs audio file. The first step we need to take is giving the audio a high-pass filter. This cuts out the low frequencies, which is similar to that of a walkie-talkie sound. Highlight the audio clip then under the Effects menu. Select High-Pass Filter. Let's keep the frequency at 1000 Hz and set the roll-off to 24 decibels. Hey Houston, we might have a small problem. Sounds good. Now let's add some distortion. Open the effects panel again and select the distortion effect. Set the distortion type to hard overdrive and change the distortion amount to 90%. Hey Houston, we might have a small problem. We're getting there. Finally, to restore the full volume of the audio, Open the Effects panel and select the Normalize effect. The default settings should do fine. Hey Houston, we might have a small problem. Go to File and export the clip as an MP3 file. Then upload it to Canva. Now let's quickly jump back into Eleven Labs to create some sound effects. Open the Sound Effects tab and enter this prompt to generate a space radio chatter effect. I'm running a little low on credits, so here's the audio I generated earlier. Now let's first place the voiceover for the astronaut onto the timeline. Position the playhead to 2.5 seconds. Then realign the start of the voiceover to that point. To create some space between the two phrases, move the playhead to the empty space, then right click and select Split Audio. Move the second clip to around the four second mark, then place the sound effect on the track below it. Trim the clip down so we only hear the static radio noise. Then place it between the two voice over clips. Copy and paste the clip, then reposition them so it plays before and after the voice over. Trim the first one so it only plays for a few milliseconds, then open the audio library and search for button beep 3. Place it just before the very first radio effect and another after the very last clip. Hey Houston, we might have a small problem.
Open the audio library again. Filter for sound effects and search for Drone Space 6. Place it on the timeline, trim it to the first scene, and reduce the volume to 50 decibels. Next, search for space satellites, then place it, trim it, play it. Hey, Houston, we might have a small problem. Now, search for explosive boom and place it at the very start of the scene. Hey, Houston. We might have a small problem. Time for some gripping music. The track I chose for the intro is called Desert Takes the Week. Place it at the start of the timeline. Then we need to trim out a section in the middle of the song. Place a temporary page at the back of the timeline and set it to a duration of one minute. Move the playhead to around 45 seconds to find this section. Split the audio, move it to the start of the intro, then trim it to the end of the first scene. Now for the music in the second scene, search for Stegosaurus. Trim the start of the clip to when the bass slide kicks in. Then align the first beat with the start of the second scene. Trim all other audio tracks to the start of the bass slide. Change the duration of the second scene so it aligns with the first bar of the music. Set the next scene to four seconds. Then in the audio library, search for typing. Place the sample on the timeline and line it up with the start of the typing text animation. Then trim it where the animation finishes. You may need to increase the volume of this one. Now copy the beep sound and radio effect from the intro scene and paste them into the closing scene. Retrim the radio effect so it plays the muffled voices and some static. Trim the music track to the stab sound. Right click on the CTA layer and select show timing. Have it appear just as the stab sound plays. Now let's preview the finished product. Hey Houston, we might have a small problem. Thank you.